now friends uh, let's try this question uh, we have already done this sort of question so here I would recommend just try the question on your own then uh, see the solution and match the answer right so let's do how many different words can be formed from the letters of the word Ganesh Puri in how many of these words these four conditions are there so what was the first question that how many different words can be formed now we see there is no repetition of the letters over here right every letter is unique so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 factorial different words can be formed that is without any condition so it is the first one is 10 factorial right now the second is the letter G always occupies the first place now we have 10 places I want to be uh, making the blanks over here we have 10 places and the first position is fixed for G so for remaining 9 positions 9 letters are there so they can be arranged in 9 factorial ways right so it's quite simple the letters P and I respectively occupy first and last place now we have 10 places for the first place P is fixed for the last place A I is fixed so we are left with 8 places so 8 places and we have to arrange 8 letters so they can be arranged in 8 factorial ways right so till here 10 9 8 uh, the problems were easy now there is a twist the walls are together now how do we do that how many walls are there it's a e u and i four walls are there a e u and i now what do i do i just take them as one single letter right and remaining i'll just stay right over here g n s h p r one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now these ten letters are there I'll just keep all the words together so now how many letters are there one two three four five six seven so seven letters can be arranged in seven factorial ways and this four letters that is a e u i they have to be together uh, since they are words but mutual inter uh, mutual arrangements are also possible so the four walls can be arranged in four factorial ways so in all the answer will be 7 factorial into 4 factorial right now the next is here it is 7 factorial into 4 factorial right now next is the walls always occupy even places now friends so we have 4 walls and we have in all 10 places right I just mark the places over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 now walls should occupy even places so we have this one two three four five options right but we have four walls only so what we do we'll select the four places from these five places now how do we do that it's five c four right we selected four places from the five places now we have selected the places now we have to arrange the selected um, uh, the vowels on the selected places right so four places we have selected we have four vowels so they can be arranged in four factorial ways right on the remaining places we have one two three four five six consonants and they can be arranged in six factorial ways right so the wall always occupy even places the answer to the problem is 5c4 into 4 factorial into 6 factorial you can simplify it 5c4 is uh, nothing but 5c1 so it's 5 into 4 factorial into 6 factorial your answer will be when the walls occupy even places right so we discuss five cases in this question without any condition then g always occupy the first place then p and i occupies first and last place then walls are together and walls occupy even places right so i hope your concept is clear now and your answer and solution is also matching with mine